I'm sharing one of my favorite things to eat and it's not really a recipe because I don't really a lot of you ask me to share my recipes and things of what I eat I have to be very honest I mostly eat foods in their natural state so for instance if I'm eating vegetables I throw together a salad but if I put sardines on top or if I eat it with oysters or something I simply open the can and put the product <laughs> put the protein on my salad and I eat it that way so I eat things very simply and very uh, dull <laughs> in a dull fashion but for this there is a little bit of a preparation involved so I will share it and it's one of my favorite foods to eat like I said both for its nutrition and just the way it makes me feel. I'll explain a little bit about that, but I'm going to be making salmon salad. And you can make this with canned salmon or cooked salmon fillets. I like to make it with canned salmon with the bones and the skin on because that way I can consume the bones for calcium. They're very rich in calcium and canned salmon is also very high in vitamin D. It's also convenient, obviously, but um, so today I, I will be using wild pink Alaskan canned salmon for this with the bones and the skin, but you can also use, this is what I buy if you're curious. I purchased this from Costco uh, and I do eat this product as well. This is just sockeye wild caught salmon, uh, boneless skin on and I definitely eat the skin and I encourage people to eat the skin because the skin of salmon and fatty fish in general, where the skin meets the flesh, that layer in between, that's actually where most of the omega-3 fats lie. So that omega-3 fat is very uh, good for the brain health. It feeds the brain and it's good for the skin. It's good for the internal organs. It's just an all around healthy food and vitamin F deficiency is a real thing, essential fatty acids. And that was one thing that many years ago before I changed my diet and uh, amended my diet, I was lacking in essential fatty acids or vitamin F. And so I had chronic, one of the problems I had, uh, apart from my mood, I had extreme mood disturbances and I was prone to depression and anxiety. And I also had eight and a half years of chronic psoriasis on my scalp back here. There was a patch of bloody, flaky, scaly psoriasis for about nine years that I suffered with until I got very honest with myself and I told myself, okay, whatever I'm doing, clearly it's not working. I'm lying to myself saying it's working and it's obviously not. My body was crying out. Uh, giving me the signs that I needed to uh, look at my diet and tend to my nutrients and then feed my body accordingly. So for everyone, it's going to be different because we're all living in different bodies and diet is such a personal individual thing. Diet is not going to be a one size fits all approach ever. So I always encourage people to do experimentation on their own bodies, that's what I've done. And through the experimenting, I cured my own psoriasis. <laughs> Thankfully, I am so thrilled about that. That was one of the greatest accomplishments of my life, in fact, was curing my psoriasis because that autoimmune condition was with me, like I said, for almost a decade. And it really does a number on your mental health. It did a number on me in terms of my mood. It really, really affected me in all ways, physically, emotionally, mentally. Uh, it was a, uh, it was ruining me. So I had to, I had to address things that were lacking. And for me, it was my diet. So I eliminated dairy, which I know is inflammatory. I eliminated dairy. I don't consume any dairy. That really helped my skin on both my scalp and my face and body. That really helped clear up my skin. It did help with the psoriasis, but the major thing that helped with my psoriasis was including essential fatty acids, specifically from omega-3 rich fatty fish like sardines and salmon. So I just needed to share that because food is absolutely medicine and never underestimate the importance and the impact that whatever you consume or don't consume, it is showing. Your body is constantly giving signals 
in either the positive or the negative direction, what is working and what's not working. So you can ignore those for a while, but after a certain time, at least in my experience, I really got sick and tired of being sick and tired as the old adage goes. So I had to be very honest with myself and stop lying to myself that my diet was perfect and that I was getting everything I needed because very clearly I wasn't. So I'm going to get started now on the salmon salad and I will put a timestamp down below if you don't care to hear about that. Um, although I think it's important to note, um, you know, it's, it's valuable information of why I eat the way I do and what, had, what it has done for me. Although I'm just one person and of course it's anecdotal, I do think it's valuable information to share. So I'm sharing it. And I always say, don't follow what I do. Don't do what I do. I'm doing what I'm doing because it works for me. So I would encourage you to do the same. And that is exercise your critical thinking skills, experiment on yourself, gather the knowledge, apply it to yourself and find out what works for you. That's the best thing you can do for yourself is find out what works for you and then do that thing. So this is by no means uh, what anyone should do or eat or anything. <laughs> I'm always just sharing uh, my experience. So getting started, I have in this bowl one can of pink wild caught Alaskan salmon. The first thing I'm going to do uh, to add to this, because it's really very simple uh, preparation, and that's what I like about this. I can feed myself very well, and uh, if I'm not demonstrating it, it's very quick, and I can have this in the refrigerator so that I can eat it. I like pickles, so I'm going to cut these pickles. I have one large and one smaller uh, pickle. These are not homemade pickles by me, I will admit. They are from the farmer's market. Um, so they're made by local Amish people. <laughs> and I bought a jar to support them uh, because I like to support small businesses. I tasted one and they're really good. Very tangy and sour, just the way I like it. And the ingredients were minimal and they didn't have any preservatives. So I like to also support that. And then I have here some beautiful fresh parsley, again, from the farmer's market, looked really good. And parsley is a known cancer fighter. You know what's really funny? <laughs> Maybe it's not funny, but I often chew on this. I just eat parsley after a meal as a digestive. I just find it very refreshing. So this is like almost my dessert <laughs> after I eat. I chew on some parsley because it's uh, refreshing and it's good for me. It's really, really good for you. It has antioxidants and a bunch of phytonutrients. So I love adding parsley to my fresh salads even. I'll just add a bunch because I quite enjoy it. And I know salmon is commonly paired with dill and I did add dill pickles. I have to say as a, as an herb, I'm not a fan so much of dill, the plant, you know, putting it in things, but you can absolutely add actually whatever um, herbs and spices you want to this and it will be delicious. So I just throw in, I'm going to use quite a bit because anything green, I like to consume anything green, green tea, green leaves, green plants. I love green food. I have three cloves of garlic, frozen. I love garlic, garlic and onion in everything because that makes the food taste good. And I want my food to taste good and it does. So there's that. The ginger, my <laughs> Jennifer's famous <laughs> frozen ginger going in cannot be without this. And I put quite a bit because uh, ginger is so good for you. It is, ginger is one of the most uh, superior, ginger is one of the most superior foods I find that 
we can consume. I consume ginger every single day. I grate this in my matcha green tea. I put this in my food. It's, I'm never without it because this goes into my body along with garlic and onions and things, but especially ginger. It, it's anti-cancer properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and I do notice a difference in my body. Uh, I've been consuming ginger daily for many years, but I absolutely notice that it just, even just vitality, it it's, great so i highly recommend uh incorporating ginger in some way shape or form if you're not consuming it start consuming ginger i put it in everything <laughs> apparently i have some beautiful scallions and i just rough chop these I had about three or four scallions, so that's going in. It's really almost done. Now what I'm going to add is mayonnaise. You can use traditional mayonnaise in this, but I'm not a fan because I avoid vegetable oils and all the commercial mayonnaises on the shelf that I have seen, they use soybean oil, canola oil. I don't put that stuff in my body. So again, you're free to do what you want, but if you want my recommendation, I use uh, this product. Uh, I really like the ingredients of this. It's made from avocado oil and it has very few ingredients. So this is the one that I use and personally recommend, avocado oil mayonnaise. I would say about two tablespoons. I'm not very uh, exact about measurements. Uh, one thing that would be good in here would be lemon juice. I have to say that I am not, uh, my body doesn't really um, react well to citric acid, uh, to citrus fruits. So I know lemon lemons are really healthy for you. So if you wanna put lemon juice, that would be good, or lime juice. I just, it doesn't sit well in my stomach. So what I like to use for acidity is rice vinegar, and this I find works really well, and I don't get indigestion from this. So again, do what works for your body, but I have good success with rice vinegar. So I just put a splash in there, and then I'm going to season it simply with some black pepper. I love black pepper. I am my father's daughter because his favorite spice is black pepper. He puts it on everything, so I inherited that from my dad. <laughs> and then um, you can put some mustard. I really like to put some spicy mustard. And you'll notice I didn't salt this because the canned salmon I used actually contained uh, salt. So I'm not going to add additional salt because it was already seasoned with salt. And that's it. I just stir this up and then I really love, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I really love making this. You can make this too with uh, tuna fish. I have to say, I don't eat tuna fish, not, not for any particular reason. Tuna's a great source of protein. However, there is the mercury content to be mindful of. Although if consumed in moderation, it's perfectly safe. And it would be delicious too. So you can make it with tuna salad, or you can make it with tuna rather. I like fatty fish because I like the omega, uh, omega-3 content. Uh, tuna does have omega-3 fatty acids, but not as much as uh, fish like sardines and salmon do. And I also just prefer the calcium that comes with canned salmon. I can chew on the soft bones and I do find that the canned salmon is plentiful with bones. So the vertebrae and all the bones are included and I just chew them up and swallow them. <laughs> so I get some really good natural calcium that way. So this is done and you can see it just looks beautiful and delicious and it's going to be delicious. So I put this in a glass container with a lid in an airtight container and I store it in my refrigerator. And then whenever I need to eat, I eat some of this. <laughs> I eat my vegetables. I eat, I'll have eggs during the day. I eat very simply. 
I eat a very bland diet, which is to say I eat a lot of the same things, although I rotate the proteins and things and I eat a variety of vegetables. But uh, the way I eat, it's I've tested so many different ways of eating and I've really landed on the diet that works best for me. So again, everyone's diet is different and it's going to be different depending on your goals, your needs, your preferences, uh, your access to certain foods and ingredients, all of these things uh, matter. And eating well and feeding your body with nourishing, healthy food, it will absolutely make a difference in every single aspect of your life. For me, with the essential fatty acids, ever since I changed my diet to a high fat diet and I eliminated things like grains, dairy, uh, these foods that were really aggravating my autoimmune condition, uh, my health has done a complete transformation and my skin is in so much better health. The skin is the largest organ, so it absolutely shows and comes out in the skin. Uh, and before, like I said, my skin was in pretty bad shape uh, and the patch of psoriasis I had on my scalp would bleed every single day and it was painful. And that really affected my mental health, like I said. And so my mood was really in the dumps. And when I started consuming fatty fish in particular, salmon and sardines and cod liver oil, uh, these fatty components of animal foods, uh, egg yolks, pasture-raised egg yolks, a whole egg, because I used to, years ago, I used to throw away the yolk because I thought egg yolks were bad. <laughs> Uh, my body was uh, sorely lacking. So when I corrected that, oh my God, everything changed. My whole life changed. So that's what I mean by being honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself and don't self-deceive, whether it's about your diet or anything else. The worst thing you can do for yourself is not be honest uh, with, with uh, what's happening in your body or your mind or both. <laughs> And uh, things like this are brain food. Uh, this is absolutely uh, helping my mood, a, a huge difference in my mood. And I've, uh, everything has been leveled up and I'm doing so much better now. And it continues to do, I continue to do better and better the longer I practice this. So that is my wish for you, is not to do what I do, but to figure out what you need to do for yourself so that you too can have health Health is wealth. That's the best success that you can have in life is wellness and good health. So here is to health. Here is to your health and my health and all of us. I thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful or informative and good luck making your healthy food in whatever way that looks for you. Bye.